NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's first images reveal ancient galaxies. The images depict elements of the universe as they were 13 billion years ago, reshaping our understanding of the universe. NASA has released an image of distant galaxies 13 billion years ago, the first glimpse from the most powerful telescope ever launched into space, which promises to reshape our understanding of the universe's birth. Keep checking back for updates. Hello and welcome to yet another amazing video from our channel. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell to be notified whenever a new video is released. The light from many different twinkling galaxies, among the oldest in the universe, has been captured in sharp detail by the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST in the small slice of the universe, known as SMAX 0723. Joe Biden, who unveiled the image at a White House event, described the moment as historic, adding that it provided a new window into the history of our universe. It's difficult to comprehend, said the U.S. President. It's incredible. It's a watershed moment for science and technology, for America and for humanity as a whole. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, The image showed galaxies light bending around the other galaxies for billions of years before reaching the telescope. We're looking back more than 13 billion years, he said, adding that more images to be released by NASA would go back even further to around 13.5 billion years, close to the estimated beginning of the universe itself. We're almost back to the beginning, he explained. The image is a preview of a series of high-resolution color images from JWST that will be unveiled by NASA on Tuesday. According to Nelson, they will include the deepest image of our universe ever taken. According to experts, the telescope, which has been in the works for three decades and was launched last year, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe by providing detailed infrared images of the universe. The $10 billion telescope can peer inside exoplanet atmospheres and observe some of the universe's oldest galaxies by using a system of lenses, filters, and prisms to detect signals in the infrared spectrum, which is invisible to the human eye. According to Marcia Rique, professor of astronomy at the University of Arizona, the system has performed flawlessly thus far. But looking for galaxies that are so far away that light has taken many billions of years to get from those galaxies to ourselves, said Jonathan Gardner, deputy senior project scientist at NASA, during a recent news conference. Because Webb is larger than Hubble, it can see fainter galaxies that are further away. The telescope, in collaboration with the European Space Agency, has been in development since the mid-1990s and was launched into space in December. It is described as the most powerful telescope ever launched into space and is currently about 1 million miles from Earth, scanning ancient galaxies. The project's initial goal was to see the first stars and galaxies form after the Big Bang, to watch the universe turn on the lights for the first time as Eric Smith, Webb's program scientists put it. According to U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, the telescope should be regarded as one of humanity's great engineering achievements. The entire observatory is performing astonishingly well, said Gillian Wright, director of the UK Astronomy Technology Center in Edinburgh and principal investigator for the JWST's mid-infrared or MIRI instrument. It's difficult to believe how fantastic it's turned out to be. It's absolutely incredible. According to NASA, JWST will observe five initial cosmic targets, including the Carina Nebula, a type of celestial nursery where stars form. The nebula is about 7,600 light years away and contains many massive stars, several times the size of the Sun. Other areas of interest include WASP 96b, a giant gas filled planet outside our solar system, the Southern Ring Nebula, an expanding cloud of gas surrounding a dying star 2,000 light years away, and Stefan's Quintet the first compact galaxy group discovered in 1877. NASA will release images of these targets on Tuesday. It's exhilarating to see the fantastic James Webb Space Telescope image released today, said Richard Ellis, a University College London professor of astrophysics who was part of the committee that first conceived of the telescope. Because we're made of material synthesized in stars over the past 13 billion years, JWST has the unique ability to trace back to our own origins in this amazing universe. This incredible adventure is open to everyone. Jupiter and its moons have recently been designated as a proving ground for the James Webb Space Telescope. The new observatory will face challenges from the system's hidden oceans, complex rings, and hidden volcanoes. The James Webb Space Telescope will soon turn its gaze to the gas giant Jupiter, the king of the solar system. Jupiter is a complex system full of mysteries, including the nature of its delicate rings, how its largest moons may harbor oceans of water or hidden volcanoes, and how massive storms like the Great Red Spot form in the turbulent atmosphere of the giant planet. According to researchers, the planet will be an ideal proving ground for the James Webb Space Telescope, a $10 billion observatory that will reveal its first operational images on July 12. 
In a 2020 consortium statement, study co-leader Imke DePatter, a planetary scientist at the University of California, said of Webb's upcoming Jupiter studies, it'll be a really challenging experiment. Because Jupiter is so bright and Webb's instruments are so sensitive, said DePater, who is co-leading the study with Thierry Fauché of the Observatoire de Paris. Jupiter is a bright target that will necessitate precise calibration of Webb's instruments in order to avoid washing out the planet in the telescope's sensitive optics. The gas giant also rotates quickly, making it difficult to capture a time-lapse image for scientific observations. Scientists say they're looking forward to new insights using Webb's unique 18-segment mirror and four infrared instruments once these obstacles are overcome. Atmospheric studies will take center stage. For example, the telescope will examine the winds, clouds, gas, and temperatures of enigmatic cyclone storms in the polar region, which are also being studied by NASA's Juno spacecraft. Webb will also examine the atmosphere just above the swirling Great Red Spot, which exhibits unexplained temperature fluctuations. For example, the atmosphere just above is much colder than other zones of Jupiter. In the future, the team hopes to discover new moonlets in Jupiter's rings. According to officials, this will be especially difficult because the planet's bright light will wash out the faint ring system composed of tiny and sparse dust particles. Strategies for dealing with this issue may aid future exoplanet observers using Webb to detect faint worlds near bright stars. Then there are Jupiter's large moons to consider. This first set of research will look at icy Ganymede and volcanic low to learn more about how these worlds formed and changed over time. According to the researchers, Webb will photograph Ganymede's outer atmosphere in order to better understand the moon's interaction with particles in Jupiter's magnetic field. Webb will also investigate the possibility of a saltwater ocean beneath Ganymede's surface. Low will be investigated for stealth volcanoes, which researchers believe are erupting without scattering any dust particles that would better reflect light for telescopes to see. On the other hand, Webb has higher spatial resolution than previous Jupiter missions, including Voyager and Galileo, allowing it to detect stealth volcanoes as well as hotspots. The high temperature concentrations on Low's surface may be similar to those seen with Earth's volcanism, but more research is needed to confirm Galileo's observations from the 1990s and 2000s. The telescope will also investigate Low's temperature structure, which is currently unknown due to a lack of data on the temperature at various altitudes of the moon's atmosphere, according to the statement. As Webb focuses its telescope on Jupiter from deep space, observatories orbiting closer to the planet will assist. For example, Webb's long-term view of Jupiter's atmosphere, for example, will provide valuable context for the Jupiter orbiting Juno. In the same statement, study co-author Michael Wong of the University of California, Berkeley, said, no single observatory or spacecraft can do it all. We're very excited about combining data from multiple observatories to tell us much more than a single source could. And that's all we have for now. Please share your thoughts on this video in the comment section. If you liked it, please tell your friends about it and subscribe to our channel for more great videos and current information. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.